keeping kids off the streets and in school. That's the goal of one new policy set to be approved by the Indianapolis Public School Board later this week. It centers around suspensions and what kids can be kicked out for school for. Now, these are some changes. Some we've learned are already underway at one IPS high school. But now, Zan Kelly joins us live from the RTV6 newsroom to explain a bit more. And well, Raphael and Candace, last month, you may remember, IPS introduced a new code of conduct. This week, a specific part of that conduct is expected to become policy. And the principal of George Washington Community High School, who I just spoke with a bit ago, she couldn't be happier. We had a teacher call in a student without a pass headed to first floor. For a year now, Principal Emily Butler has been leading George Washington Community High School on the near west side. She's from Indianapolis, worked the last 11 years in Baltimore, and returned home, hoping to make a change and realizing a lot of work was ahead of her. A year prior to me coming here, our school alone had almost 1,300 suspensions. I don't think in all of Baltimore in a single school year did any of the high schools have a total of 1,300 suspensions combined. Um, so I had teachers wanting to kick out kids for not having the right color socks. Changes needed to be made. The culture of suspensions needed to change. And that's what Butler has been working on for the last year, encouraging different types of punishment. If you don't meet dress code, for example, you get a lunch detention now. You're not suspended. It's an idea the district is now set to adopt, too, voting on a new policy Thursday, which, among other things, reduces what students can be suspended for. It's now a district policy. Um, it's the district's vision. It's not about any decision I've made. Butler will now be backed up. Last year's suspensions dropped at George Washington by 200. This year, she says, in part due to the soon-to-be-approved policy, she's hopeful they will drop even further. But if suspensions drop, it's not just because of the new policy, it's also because of some major changes Butler has made to prevent problems with students altogether. They can't visit their lockers as often. They have to walk in lines in the hallway. Really a significant shift new this year at that school, and we'll take a closer look coming up at 530. For now, we are reporting live in the newsroom for the Now Indy and Kelly, RTV6.